Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. All right, we got a ABC prop haul. <laughs> okay, uh, so actually going to take each prop out the bag. Okay, I got some really aggressive props here, like high rake, high rake, high, high pitch. Okay, um, two blade, three blade props. Um, probably compare them to some like Octura. Oxidine props. Maybe I'll show you some of my prepped props and uh, compare the difference in a non-prepped prop. Kind of, kind of go over them. You know, nothing too serious. Just I uh, wanted to share the prop haul. Hell, I could have bought a boat for what I spent on these props. So uh, stick around, Big B, Ironclad RC. So propellers, I love props, you know, for RC boats, this is how you go fast or get the boat to perform like you want it to perform, using the correct propeller, you know, uh, you could put big power in a boat, big ESE, big batteries, big high KV motors, but if you don't have the right prop, what's the point, you know, you can make a boat go fast with a low power setup with the right prop. Okay, uh, ABC props. They're probably one of the best propeller choice you can get for speed. Uh, top propeller choice for hydroplanes and riggers. Uh, this is what I've been using to get to get my speed with on my boats. These ABC props. This one right here has been prepped up. This is a 1916. Okay, nice looking props. All right, when you when, when I. OSE gets the props these ABC prop shipment in you better be ready because uh, they go fast especially the popular ones okay so um, let's start off with my favorite well I don't know if it's my favorite yet but um, this is a prop I've been wanting for a couple years every time he gets this propeller in it, it goes quick you know um, it's a 1817 which is basically a 45 millimeter 17 pitch 23 rake see how it's angled off the hub here see how the octura prop doesn't have any angle okay the more angle on a prop basically the tighter th the thrust cone will be off the propeller you know so um i've been wanting this prop for a long time you guys really have I always miss it Check that sucker out. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put it on this guy right here. All right. Pegged out. Old trigger. One oh four. One oh seven and one oh four. I think this is my new favorite. Yep, that's my new favorite looking prop. That thing right there looks freaking awesome. <laughs> All right, it's an 1817. It's a big prop. You got to have the KV and the power to push that prop. It's actually got a 0 .50 blade area. Okay, 23 rake, 0 .50 blade area. These are 45 blade area. They add up the blade area for each blade on the three blade and add up the blade area on the two blade. This one has more blade area than this one. You know, two different props, but you guys can see a difference there. Oh, that three blade's freaking awesome. I can't wait to try it. So this is the 1817 after I lightly balanced and sharpened it. Okay, lightly, just like a minimum <laughs> balance on the prop like minimum bare minimum <laughs> bare bare minimum polish i hit 104 and 107 on this prop um actually i'm gonna show you this one in a little bit later in the video but i almost have this one balanced up just a basic what i like to do is basic balance and sharpen first and then i'll actually start after I run the prop, I'll kind of mod the prop, uh, and I'll remember what I've done to the prop, what speeds and what performance I get from each 
mod I've done to my props. It's just kind of how I do mine because I'm not real familiar. I don't have a particular, well actually I do have a particular cut that I found that I like that I'll actually go over one day with you guys. But um, I haven't found any particular like cups or cuts like on the back side of the prop. You know, so I'm always tinkering and tuning props. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the numbers on this. This is an 1817. I'll definitely remember this one. 1817. Really, I need a, an engraver for this. They have the numbers on the hub right there, but the nut always wears the number off, you know. So we're going to set this guy right here, and we're going to take a look at another one. Oh, I'm super excited to have that prop. You have no idea. All right, so I'll go ahead and take a look at this other three blade. This is another one I've been wanting. Um, this is a 1616. One of my favorite size props. Uh, this is a 1616 uh, 1745. This is a 1616 1050. Okay, so we're actually going to do a prop test with this, with these two props right here. Both of them are basic, well, they are the same size. Um, so this is the new prop, that three blade right there. It's got a lower rake than the 17, than the 17 rake, 17, 10, 17, 10. Okay. 45 bar, 50 bar. Oh, I like that three blade. That looks awesome. So I've never really run this 10 rake. I've only had one other 10 rake. It was a 15, 16, and I actually lost it. Um, only got a couple runs with it. Uh, I actually hit something with it, you know, lost the prop, damaged it. Pretty cool looking prop there. So this is actually a 1616 16 reverse, okay? Uh, I, now I have a pair of these for my Delta Force 29 twin motor build, okay? Um, this is basically what the prop looks like when it's all prepped up. This one's like prepped. I got it prepped up nice, polished up, okay? So uh, we'll be running this on a 29. Um, my opinion, my opinion, the 17... The 1745 series of ABC prop is the most common. That's a good all-around prop from ABC. 1745 is great for monos, catamarans, hydroplanes. Good all-around prop. You know, uh, so um, so yeah. So we got the 1817, 1616, and another 1616 here. Also. Uh, I actually have a 1619, which is a 40 millimeter 19 pitch, okay, 1745 series. Uh, this is actually the highest, the highest pitch 1745 series prop I own. Um, up until now, the highest pitch 17 series was a 17, 17 pitch. Got bad mold. Oh, that's see that right there can be knocked off easy. Whenever they're crooked on the hub, that's when you got to worry about it. Yep, good looking prop. 19 pitch, boy. 19 pitch. 16, 19, 40, 19. Ooh. Okay, so this is a 16, 16. All right. Let's see if we can see a difference here. Okay, so this is a 1616 on top, 1619 on the bottom. 1616 on top, 1619 on the bottom. Oh wow, it's actually a pretty big difference there. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Oh, that's going to be freaking awesome. Yes, sir, buddy. Yes, sir, buddy. Okay, so this is the the most aggressive prop I own 
basically. 18, 20 pitch. 18, so that's basically, I think it's 45 millimeter, 20 pitch. Okay, this is the biggest, most aggressive prop I own. Okay. Oh, that's a, oh, that's a nice one. Yes, sir. Oh, man. 22 rake. Okay. 45 millimeter, 20 pitch, 22 rake, 45 bar. Cleaver. Okay. Look at that bad boy. Look how, look at the angle. Look at the angle. Com the blade's coming off the hub. <laughs> All right. So this is an 1816. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Holy cow. Holy cow. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, that's a pretty prop. The 1820. Wow. This is for my rigger. This is for the rigger, and I'm going to try both of these on the rigger, those three blades. You know, that, th that big three blades for the dominator. And my um, Delta Force. Shoo. Shoo. And I'm trying to get my UL 19 back on the water here shortly, too. And the Blackjack 42. The Blackjack 42 will be back on the water within the week. So this is actually. A 1917, 19 rake, 38 bar. Okay, you see how small the blade area is right here? It's one of the reasons I picked this prop. It's actually got a big hub. So I'm going to have to change out a drive dog when I run this prop more than likely. Huh. Hmm. So, uh, 1917. So, th so this right here is actually the, the largest, most aggressive prop I own. Uh, 48 millimeter diameter, 17 pitch. Uh, this is the most, this is the pitchiest prop I now own, the 20 pitch. Uh, this is a 17, 19. I think this prop right here is going to be really good. Uh, 19 rake, 38 bar. This is another one I have faith in. I got them all in order from smallest to largest in diameter. Um, this being the highest pitch, these two being the second highest. Okay. Um, this is the highest rake prop I have. This 23 rake. Okay, that's the second highest rake prop. All right, 18, 17, 16, 16. 23 rake, 10 rake. All right, uh, these are some Octura props. Four, five, six pitch. Okay, so you guys can kind of see the difference. This is that 16, 16 reverse. All right, um, I actually threw them all on the balancer. Um, this. <laughs> The 1820, which is one of the ones I wanted to balance first, was actually the worst on the balancer. And it's actually the worst prop, period, from the factory. Okay, so. Uh, Alright. So, uh, you guys see how straight. You see how straight that trailing edge right there is? It's nice and straight. Perfect. Okay, we're going to flip it over. Look at this one. Look how jacked up this blade right here is. It's almost like the blade's bent. Okay. It's got some material missing. Almost like it's bent. And look at the tip. The tip. The tip's rolled out. And it's the short blade. It's the smaller of the two blades. And it's rolled out like that. Look at that. Look how thick. Look how thick the tip is. You see how thick it is? Okay. It's rolled out. Look at this one. Look how thin and tapered it is. 
all the other props, you know, there a couple of them are pretty close, but some of them are really bad, like one blade being heavier. That's no problem. You know, that's no problem. But when you're dealing with with a with a trailing edge that's all bent out of shape and the, the prop blades way smaller than the other one and it's all whacked out like what do you do man what do you do that's a 25 hour prop um, now this 10 the 1050 series that's actually a great all-around prop not just the three blade 1050 series the two blade 1050 series i think those are good all-around props you can get like a 15 14 15 15 15 16 you see what i'm saying they they have low pitch low rake and a kind of a low blade area the two and three blade i don't have any two blade 1050 props to show you but um yeah this 23 rake this is actually the only option in this category you know you you look up the 18 17 three blade 2350 uh, there's no other props in that category like this 1745 series uh, there's like you know it, it, it starts at like 1514 and it goes all the way up to like 2119 or something crazy like that you know there's a lot of props to choose from in this category um, but this is the only one in that category as far as I know a lot of props to choose from in the 1050 category too um, there's like 10 or 15 props in this 1938 category you know that category there there's quite a few and these are actually really aggressive like 17 18 17 19 17 20 17 21 I think you know those are very pitchy aggressive so um, these are actually my balance props. I'm not going to take them off. I'll just kind of show them to you on the on the rack here. All right, the front of the prop. That's where you do all your work, all your profiling. All right, I got those all thinned out. I got them all thinned, shaped, profiled, and polished. Okay. Right. Yep, yep. I just figured you guys would, um, you know, like to see the difference in propellers. Uh, you know like this prop this right here this <laughs> used to be this <laughs> that used to be that that was a 45 millimeter prop at one point now it's a 40 millimeter I, I hit something with it you know that's actually a fast prop on my 24 so yeah yeah we'll let you go um i'm gonna be doing some prop prepping for the next couple weeks i think i'm gonna start with these two first and then we'll kind of work these into the mix all right so thanks for watching hopefully you guys learned something hopefully you enjoy looking at the the shapes of the props because I, I i find it interesting we'll see you next time